if you're a man going to a wedding, the races or a summer garden party, it's easy to decide what to wear, isn't it? A great fitting suit, of course. But is there one style of suit that suits all? Let's find out. He's a man who knows it's George Lamb. George. Yes, Denise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, you know. You rock a good suit. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm, I, uh, I like suits. I've worn suits a lot over the last kind of decade or so. Weirdly, didn't have a job where you needed a suit, so I decided to start wearing one. And what's so great about a suit? Why um, do men wear suits? Instantly, they make you feel really sharp. And you put your suit on, and it's like a coat of armour for me, basically. And then I feel, I'm like, right, I'm ready for anything, whatever you throw at me today. Now, you know a lot about suits. Mm -hmm. What are the do's and don'ts? A couple of things that we should uh, adhere to. Uh, the main thing for me is about fit, really, and, uh, and making sure you feel comfortable in it. And of course, you you've got to get the right colour for you. You know, if, you, if you're kind of uh, very light skinned, don't go and get a grey suit because it's going to wash you out, you know, and just kind of think about the clothes that you normally wear and kind of stick to that colour strategy as well. But uh, the main thing really is, is, is the fit. You can spend all the money you like on, on fabric and if the fit's bad, then it's not going to work out. And get a you. second opinion because I go shopping with my dad and my brother and we're going to store sometimes. Now, if they went on their own, yeah. I could quite happily say this, I don't mind me saying, they would just go in, they'd pick something, go, that'll do. But if I'm there, my mum's there, we can actually say to them, do you know what, that doesn't look right, it's it doesn't fit, it's too short in the leg, too yeah. short in the arm, you know, and to give some advice. So be open to advice, I guess. Always. That's a good rule for life, Denise. <laughs> Absolutely. No. Now, you're looking fantastic Thank in you this very suit. Much. Uh, let's talk us through it. This is a three-piece tailored suit. Is uh, the three-piece suit popular? It's very popular. It's classic, but it's also like, you know, it's had a, it's had a big renaissance the last three or four years. It was kind of maybe like when I first started wearing three-piece suits, people thought it was a bit old-fashioned, but now everybody kind of, you know, everybody's just doing it. Just agrees you're old-fashioned. Yeah, just agrees. <laughs> um, uh, it, this is 100% Italian merino wool. Ah, oh, so now you're saying wool, but actually to touch, this feels very light. Cool. Well, it's a, it's a light weave, basically. Okay. So you, you can wear this in the summer, you're no problem. You're educating me. Yeah, it's a light weave. You could get a really heavy-duty wool and suit but then not practical for some not events. very practical <laughs> um and the, you know with this you can you could probably I, I wouldn't totally go down to like t-shirt and 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 you know uh sneakers but i would i would wear this uh, with a crew neck jumper underneath so it can be slightly more relaxed or maybe a, a you know a button down shirt with a tie underneath you know kind of pep guardiola style but you do see guys in suits with t-shirts and, and sneakers on is that a is it because of the cut of this suit that you can't do it with this particular Yeah, one? I would just say this is just a slightly more kind of formal... There, there's a suit coming up in a minute which I think would work better with T-shirts. With, with right, stuff. I'll look forward to seeing it. So we've got lovely Jason here. Now, this is one of our suits that we love. Jason, uh, I think very us sharp. through this one, because this colour, how would you describe this colour? I would... Uh, navy slate, so it's halfway between kind of grey and navy. It's, it's, uh, it's a really fresh look. It works really well with the brown shoes. And what cut is this? This is the... This is is the regular fit so this is this is and it's also got a bit of giving it as well it's got some stretch jason if you could just lunge for us sir <laughs> give us a uh, lunge which is ideal lovely jason so did you know great. what i've just had an idea this is the perfect suit to wear at a wedding reception or to a party where you're gonna have a dance floor yeah you can lunge exactly show right. us your lunge yeah isn't that the perfect lunch in the yeah. perfect suit? Yeah. And I do like the brown shoes. I like the mix of colour there. So I think the bluey grey and the brown works really, really well. Good. It keeps it's it very really good. If you went, if that was too dark and then you and then you kicked him in the brown shoes, it wouldn't work. Okay, so it's all about choosing the right colours. Jason, I love this suit. It's fantastic. Looks good on you. Next oh, also up, also has got a very nice pin oh. tie detail on there. Sorry, I almost let him go without uh, showing that, which is uh, it's a beautiful thing. So this is a neck tie pin. Yes. Very popular now. Yeah. And, is it and a bit just, fiddly to do up? It is a little bit fiddly, but you don't need to take it on and off all day. You just need to do it once at the beginning and once at the end. So you'll need assistance. I'm Perhaps. there for you if you need me, Jason. Uh, thank you, Jason. <laughs> right, next we have Carlo. Now, I really like this suit. I love the colour of this. And what fit is this? This is the slim suit. This is the one I was talking about that would work if you wanted to dress it down. This is perhaps the most versatile of the three. So uh, you could wear this with sneakers and a t-shirt easily, or you can dress it right up to where Carlo is now, where you could happily go to a prom or you could go to a job interview. Um, uh, I don't know if it's got any stretch. So I'm not sure if you can do any lunging, which I know will be a disappointment Probably not for you, ideal Carlo. in a job interview. No, no. <laughs> so maybe it's a good thing after all. Yeah. Um, thank you, Carlo. Thank you, Carlo. Looking very good, looking very sharp. So that's our big fellas. What about a little chap? Ah, uh, yes. We've got... I don't know what you're talking about for a minute. I know, there, I know. It does sound a little bit rude. No, um, but the, for small children, I love seeing kids Isn't that a beautiful suits. thing? 
So nice. It's one of the cutest small people suits I've I've ever seen. This and one. Did and you I, wear suits when you were a kid? I did a little bit. My dad bought me one uh, to go to my auntie's wedding when I was about seven. And is that when you fell in love my with uncles. suits? Yeah, I suppose it was actually. I looked I looked a bit like a snooker player. <laughs> um, but the, things have moved on, thankfully. It was a long time ago. Um, this is I've never seen a, a little person's three piece suit before. And uh, with that pipe in detail, and which is really nice. It's really uh, it's a lovely thing and I would love also like if I had my little boy, I was in this one, he could be in this one and we'd look I don't have a little boy, but if I had one I would dress like that. He would be that. dressed in like this, a yeah. little lamb, a little lamb. Um, and I like the pink shirt. See, boys should wear pink. Oh, I've always worn pink. Lovely, love that. George, I've loved talking suits with you. Thank you so much. You're not going anywhere. I should never. I need you here. Yeah. I need you in my I'm life. By your side, Denise. <laughs> Don't ever leave me.